Hi, uh, today I'm visiting an Italian brewery and you can see there, Spadoni. And Heinrich is a lucky guy that sells these things. And this brewery is not only making wonderful beer, it's also showing off what Heinrich sells, eh? Yes, that's it. So uh, it's like walking into a showroom, a Ferrari showroom, isn't it? Yeah, so the reason we got this is for to showcase our clients what our equipment can do and that they can they can come have a training session, they can, can have a play on the equipment uh, just so that they can get a feel before they buy the equipment and also then they can see the type of quality, what they can expect from what they're buying from us. Okay, so it's like test driving a Ferrari and then deciding yeah. whether to buy it. Exactly. And if you haven't bought the Ferrari, you can take it home for a weekend, you can brew some beers here. Yeah, you can just play around on it, and see what, see what it is like, especially to the guys that want to upgrade in the future. I can't reach that now, so we'll let them come play around and then they can keep us in mind for the future of it. Okay. So when they expand and they know which way they can come get some. How big is this brewery? Uh, so this is a 1200 litre system, so okay. the three vessel does 1200 litres per batch and then can do 2400 litres within a 10 hour period. 2400 litres? Litre 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 Okay, and what does this cost? So, just roughly? Roughly, more or less on the whole setup, if you include the brewers, the fermentation side, bottling, label, that you're looking at about 8 to 9 million, more or less. Okay, so Ferrari or brewers? Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so you, you, you get what you pay for at the end of the day, you know, the quality, the efficiency on the brewers. Is, our brewers efficiency is about a, rated at about 94%. So, out of 100% we're putting, 94% we get out. Which, okay. is, which is very competitive in the market. And, uh, okay. and it's all imported, everything is... All imported from Italy, yes. And you guys set it up and... Yes, and so we said we've got the full technical team, uh, full space department upstairs as well. So we do all the installation, the commissioning, the training, everything included. Okay. And you have a brewer and an assistant yeah, brewer? Yeah, so we've got an assistant brewer and then our master brewer, Sven. Sven, so, the German, yeah. Yeah, the German. Yeah, he's not here today. So this looks like fermentation tanks, eh? Yeah, so these are our pressurized fermentation vessels, which are 2,400 liters each. Look um, very fancy. Yeah, so in these ones you can, because they're pressurized, you don't have to bottle condition your beer or anything. You just put them into the tank, pressurize them, and then you get your primary, secondary fermentation and maturation as well, all in the same tank. Okay. Then from these tanks on, you can either go into a bright beer tank, which you guys call a BBT, okay. um, and then into a bottle or into a cake, or you can go directly out of these tanks because they are pressurized. Um, we prefer to go into the BBT because we filter our beer from these tanks into the bright beer tank, and then we bottle or cake. Um, and then also we've got the pasteurizer, which we've just installed. Um, so this is our, our latest addition to our brewery, which we're okay. very excited about. And is this for your secret project that nobody knows about? Yeah, so this is about, this is exactly for the project that's still coming up, which <laughs> South Africa will find out about shortly. <laughs> <laughs> this will be our bottling line, okay. which does about 800 bottles per hour. Um, so it takes four bottles, it turns it over, it rinses the bottle, then puts a label on, expiry date prints, and then it double vacuums the bottle, sucks out all of the oxygen twice. Um, it'll then fill it and then it'll cap it at the end. So it needs one operator only. Uh, so it's got an automatic stop at the end as well, so the bottles can't fall off. So if your operator gets busy with something else, the machine just switches off as soon as the bottles reach the end. So this is the, the CIP, which I think right, every brewery needs. It's, it's something that you have there. Um, which obviously cleans the brewery, we put in the chemicals, the water boiler. All the tanks, the brewers in front as well, they've all got a shower head on top of the lid. Um, so you just connect it up and it cleans out your tanks for you. Okay. Especially on, on sizes like this and bigger, I don't, think, I don't think you want to get into the tank and clean them manually by hand, that won't be yeah. a nice job. So yeah, but all of the equipment in, in the video, in, in, in our brewery, that's all what we've got for sale. So, okay. And then we custom quote it to each client. Uh, depending on their needs or their specifications. Yeah. So I know that Umpy's got one of your breweries. Yes. So Wild Clover, Wild Clover Brewery. Saggy Stone? Saggy Stone's Saggy got Stone one, got. yeah. And then Long Beach has got one, and then we've got Franz Hook Brewery. We've got, okay. in total, we've got about 28 breweries wow. in the country that okay. we've already installed. Okay. 
And I can see some brand names here. You're obviously doing some contract packing. Yeah, we're doing uh, some contract bring for our clients that are still waiting for their systems. It takes yeah. about four to five months for them to manufacture and ship it, and takes about a month to install it. Mm. So in that time, we prefer to, or we offer the clients the option of contract bring that beer for them. And then in that way, they can get into the market mm. and hit the ground running once the brewery is set up. Okay. So that's just a service that we offer. Then you also have a tap room here, which is open on a Friday. Yeah, right? so Friday afternoons, a tap room here in front is open. So anybody wants to come have a beer, they're more than welcome to. So I think we head off to that side and we go taste a few beers. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> As you can see, Italians are always about family, and this is the Italian Job Brewery. And you can read about it there, but let's rather have a look at these beers. Talk us through these. All what right. have we got here? So on the left we've got the Pulsner, which so, is the now you gotta, you got to say this word. Yeah, the Familia Pulsner, so, which means family. Of course uh, it does. So that's what we start off with. Um, then we've also got the IPA, which is one of our, our best beers that we've got, uh, which is the Forza, which means strength. So is that because you like IPAs or...? I've, I've grown into it. In the beginning, IPA was something that I didn't really enjoy it, but then um, as I've grown with the company, I've grown into drinking IPAs and now it's one of the beers that I enjoy the most. And then we've got something special around here, which is our dark lager, um, which there aren't a lot of these guys around. But Again, you didn't say that word and I'm not going to say it. <laughs> so, Gio means joy in okay. Italian, yeah, so that's what the dark log is for. Just say it again in case a lot of the, the, the <laughs> bell went on. Gio. Gio. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got Amasizia Vice and on the last we've got the Amore Amber Ale. So. so now we're in the tap room at the Italian Job Brewery. And with me is James, the assistant brewer here. And uh, tell us a little bit about so your beers. Man. Sure. Because these you can actually taste here on a Friday. Eh? Yes. Yeah, we open every Friday. We okay. Open our tap room. Um, so this is our Pilsner. And you'll see each one of our beers has got an Italian word associated with each beer. Um, each each word means something to the family and uh, to the business. So each beer has its um, own personality and name associated with it. So the first beer we have is our Pilsner. Uh, it's Familia. So it's quite a light beer, uh, crispy, and also more bitter than a traditional lager. Mm. Um, As it's supposed like to be. Them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you know the style, definitely. Mm. Um, so this is our wheat beer. So this is more Emicizia, which means friendship. That's the word. Friendship, okay. Yeah. And then we've got our wheat beer, of course. So uh, it's cloudy, as it should be. Quite a nice fruity smell to it. So it's, it's a different, sorry. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit lighter than a, it's a traditional vice beer, just a bit lighter. So you can drink a bit more without feeling that heavy bloated feeling. Um, and then there's our, there's our amber ale, it's got a nice combination of sweet and bitter, uh, it's amber, co amber in color. Um, yeah, that's always important, and amber beer is really just the color. Yeah, yeah. and it's also you get a lot of it took me a while to caramel, get that. yeah, I guess, yeah. In, well, and it's a Zamora, sorry, but it's a love. Love. In Italian, yeah. And then this is a dark lager, which means joya, uh, which means joy. Uh, it's a dark lager. So it's similar to a lager, but it's dark, of course. Um, and it's sweeter, and it's got like light hints of like chocolatey kind of notes, but not like an overwhelming, like uh, like you would get from a stout. No, no mm -hmm. roasted, like overwhelming roasted. Thing. That's from the malt, too. Eh? Uh, yes, yeah, something similar. And this is Heinrich's favorite. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's Pure's favorite. Well, that means? Uh, Forza means strength. Strength. So it's an and, IPA. And he's not getting to taste this. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. So you open every Friday? Every Friday. We open from about 1 o'clock. Yeah. Until, until late. <laughs>